Mariano Morales from ANSYS. Can you present your company in a few words? Absolutely. So ANSYS is uh, the world leader in simulation engineering uh, software. We do all kind of physics-based analysis, systems, uh, software, uh, based on avoiding companies to spend time doing physical prototyping, making sure that they can evaluate their designs in a, in a virtual environment, saving time and money to innovate faster. And uh, which industries are using your products? So ANSYS is very well spread across all major industries in the, in the world, uh, aerospace and defense, as we are now in Paris, so automotive, high-tech, energy, industrials. And what makes you unique? So I think we have a very strong core. We are only focused on providing and developing the best technology around uh, simulation uh, for engineering. And that's what basically makes us pretty unique in the market. We have uh, numerous EVTOL, small launchers, nano satellites being developed. How do you perform on this segment of activity? So I think ANSYS has a great opportunity when it comes to these emerging areas uh, like space, like EVTOLs, pretty disrupting from a technology perspective. Thanks to the uh, breadth of the portfolio of the technology that we have, we can really team up with customers extremely well to make sure that they develop the products uh, on time, on quality. Uh, and fulfilling the requirements. Uh, are you software using AI um, for any task? Yeah, absolutely. We have, for the last few years, we have a very strong roadmap on AI ML, like how this technology can be incorporated in a traditional technology that we develop, uh, and, it's a, and it's a key core uh, development for the future as well. And what is expecting uh, ANSYS for, uh, from the Paris Air Show? So we are coming here to meet with our customers, with our partners, to continue working together towards the biggest challenges we see in the industry. One of them being uh, the imperative for digital transformation and how companies become more digital. At the same time, also safe and sustainable aviation is a key core uh, focus for us. And to conclude, what makes um, uh, what are uh, the values of uh, ANSYS? What, uh, which values are driving ANSYS? Well, ANSYS is, is, a, is a very, uh, very well ethic uh, company. We have a very strong sense of uh, purpose to support our customers, to make sure that they achieve uh, their goals, uh, their product engineering goals. And uh, that is also what is driving their business and ANSYS business. Thank you. Can you, can you operate your program? Some of them, yes. Some of them. So it dep depends on the need. Uh, but yeah, we have some of the technology in the cloud. We also have a very aggressive uh, development roadmap for, for, for the cloud, to support the cloud, because it's also one of the key restrictions that the customers are facing. Uh, you know, like how they are using the data cloud and the big data to make decisions when it comes from things like uh, uh, flight control, air traffic management. Uh, it's all of it's all based on cloud solutions. Yeah, and know that uh, when we're working with ANSYS, uh, assuming we do, uh, we do work with cloud, uh, where are the data in the cloud? Well, every customer is having a different uh, requirement, right? So we, the, one of the main challenges we've seen in the market is that to begin with, the cloud providers like Microsoft or Google. Amazon or Google, they, they didn't have um, a specific data centers in each country, right? So when it comes to security uh, or cyber security, it's very important also that you start thinking about, hey, where is, it's in the cloud, but where is it, you know? Like, where is the data? And, uh, and now these uh, cloud providers, they have enabled, like these data centers in different countries. And depending on the customer, there is always a trade off. Like some, sometimes it's more efficient to have a lot of information in the cloud. Sometimes you don't want to have everything. You want to have local premises with some data more protected because it's highly sensitive or, or it can be highly uh, dangerous if someone is, is